What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, aka Benny P, with another a Minecraft Bedrock video. And today, we are starting a brand new series on the channel. And this one is going to be called Survive and Thrive. And I'm going to tell you guys how to do just that in a Minecraft Bedrock Survival. So, let's get started. All right, it's day one, so let's get started here. I'm probably gonna start by grabbing some resources. So I'm gonna grab this pumpkin here and maybe a flower and grab all this stuff here. And really what we're doing in the beginning of the game is we're exploring and grabbing resources are important things. So uh, I never really start my base wherever I land. So I landed here, but then eh, I don't really feel like starting my base here so probably what we're gonna do is uh just take some time to look around and figure out exactly where we want to start our base and of course like all good minecraft adventures this one starts by uh, punching some trees here uh, of course wood is the biggest thing you need to start this game and to be able to start crafting you definitely are going to need some wood uh, definitely is going to be an important thing to start your survival journey here. Uh, now I am going to go over some basic things, but I'm also going to give you guys some tips for people who, uh, have played survival for a while. All of this is going to help. So, uh, first thing we need to do here is grab ourselves some planks and then we can create a crafting table and throw that crafting table down. And then we can go ahead and create our first tool which should always be a pickaxe and then we can pick up that crafting table and continue our journey um, I think I'm probably good on wood for now so I just kind of want to go in this direction and see what's over here um, and then uh, yeah oh well, sheep okay sheep are important you definitely want to kill all the sheep you see so we can get wool to make a bed that way if uh it ends up being nighttime we can make a bed and sleep through the night and we don't have to worry about mobs everywhere so uh you need three wool and perfect timing there's two that just spawned in and now we have three wool and we can create ourselves a bed so uh definitely an important thing make sure you're killing all the animals and everything you see around the world uh, to allow you to be able to create beds and get resources and food all an important part of your beginning game here uh, so we're just going to explore some and see if we can find anything cool and then find a good space to land looks like there's a village over here uh, which takes me to my next point always 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 check out these villages uh, you can find some really good stuff in here wow okay we found some emeralds uh, apple, some potatoes, and a free book. So we'll take that. And oh, these hay bales are awesome beginning in the game. Uh, it's going to give you lots of hay, which you could turn into bread, or you could use the hay bales for other things. So hay bales are definitely a good resource to have. So we're just going to kind of wander our way around this village, looking in all these little buildings, seeing if there's anything useful. So I can go ahead and take this bed so that way I don't have to create one later. So that's another way to get a bed to be able to sleep through the night. Is if you find a village, just pick up a bed from there and you can use their beds. And again, I'm just grabbing all of this uh, hay bales that I can grab because those are really, really good resources. I've never actually seen a house like this. This one's actually pretty interesting. Anyways uh and a couple things you're looking for in here you're gonna be looking for uh one of these this is like uh they have furnaces here they have uh sometimes in these chests they will have armor like this or iron like this and bread and just really good resources so uh look for this it's not a masonry it's like a uh whatever these guys are called <laughs> Uh, but yeah, look for these. These can be very helpful. I'll go ahead and grab one of these furnaces. Why not? Um, and yeah, we're just going to keep searching through this village, going, checking out everything, making sure we don't lose any resources in here. 
Anytime you see sugar cane, make sure you pick up some sugar cane. That's going to be important for later in our journey. And then let's check out uh, like this building here is probably going to be pretty important. And oh, I thought this was a library. It looks like it's just a bunkhouse. Uh, the libraries look very similar to that. That's why I was a little excited about seeing that one. But looks like it's not a library. The reason you want to find libraries is so you can get books. So you can make enchanting tables later. Full setups of enchantments. And things of that nature. But looks like we didn't find anything too helpful in here. Except for these boots right here. So uh, yeah... Not the best village ever, ever. I only saw one villager in here too. I don't know what happened to all the villagers. Um, I could trap that villager, but really one villager isn't going to help us. But what you would do is normally you could find the center where the bell is like this. And oh, not like that. You could find the center where the bell is. Ring the bell. All the villagers are going to run home. And then you can block them in their respective homes. But because for some reason we only have this one lone villager who doesn't seem to know where his bed is. Uh, we just won't worry about that because we're going to continue our journey anyways. But uh, this brings me to my next point right here which is caves. Caves are super important because you can get uh, surface level resources. Of course, we're going to go ahead and grab some cobblestone while we're here and create ourselves our first cobble or uh, stone tool. Actually, we can go ahead and create an iron tool. So let's go ahead and make a iron pickaxe and then we will go ahead and make a iron sword as well. Normally, I would just make an axe here. Um, but since we had the iron to start anyways, we might as well go ahead and use it. And then we'll make ourselves an axe as well. Uh, just a stone axe. So these are the three tools you're normally going to start with. Like I said, you can get away with just the axe and the pickaxe. If you don't want to create a sword, you can use the axe as your weapon. But yeah, that's awesome. And then we can grab this, uh, this new block here in 1.7, which is copper. Um, and then, yeah, saw some resources over here we're going to want to grab, which is coal. So definitely make sure you're grabbing uh, coal as a resource, really good for fuel and for creating torches, just an important resource to have. So anytime you see coal, go ahead and grab as much as you can in the beginning of the game. It'll become a lot less useful as you go through the game, but right now it's a pretty useful thing. But unfortunately, all this water is making it really hard to get. So we'll just grab what we can and move on. So, yeah, I'm going to venture into this cave a little bit. Oh, uh, I did spot some iron right here. So this is really what we're looking for in cave is we're trying to find these surface level bits of iron and things that aren't available um, anywhere outside of a cave. So we definitely want to take advantage of these surface level caves in the beginning of the game it just gives us a lot more resources a lot quicker than we would get them otherwise so yeah i'm going to go through this cave a little bit and search for some resources and we'll see what we find i'll let you guys know what we get when we're done all right we put down our furnace and we started smelting some of our uh resources that we have here that we need to take care of smelting uh, another thing I want to tell you is you can grab this wooden pickaxe you created and you can use it to smelt items. So whenever this uh, current coal that's in there runs out, then it'll use the wooden pickaxe to smelt the rest of uh, this raw copper. And we already smelted up our iron and some uh, mutton so we can eat that later. And yeah, let's go ahead and use this iron to craft up maybe some more armor. Chest piece is probably important. And we'll throw that guy on now. And then, yeah, it's nighttime now. So, uh, yeah, didn't get too many resources from this cave. Some coal, uh, some of the iron we just used, and then some copper. Pretty small surface cage, cave, but even still... Uh, those are all good resources we can use in the future. So uh, while that's done smelting, getting done smelting, we'll go ahead and sleep. And we'll get started with the next day. 
all right day two now we are ready to get going here um probably want to pick up all of our stuff before we just run out of the cave and uh let's see if this smelted yep looks like that all smelted good and yeah we're good to continue on our journey we'll grab our furnace as well why not and yeah let's continue uh looking around a little bit and seeing if we can find anything else interesting i definitely want to find a good spot to settle down but like i said i don't ever like picking the first spot that i find and i'm kind of bored of building in uh plains biomes um so yep again we're gathering all the resources we can find here uh, even flowers are good resources to have in the future and then also killing all the cows and getting all of those resources as well oh i didn't even see this section of the village over here probably should check this out too again we're gonna grab these hay bales while we're here might as well and another important thing is if you don't want to have to go to the nether immediately sometimes it's good to go ahead and grab this brewing stand here from uh these like church buildings as another good thing to grab in the villages oh my gosh there's a whole nother section up here i didn't even see this uh and then of course we can look for some more armor in here hopefully it's not armor that i already have that i just created with the iron i found uh what what do you know uh probably should have checked this before we did what we did um but hey that is backup armor now and we have a backup sword so our inventory is starting to get pretty full and we even have a baby villager up here so um yeah normally i would say once your inventory starts to get full that's a good sign that you probably need to start settling down somewhere in our case we haven't really found anywhere that we like but because my inventory is getting full, now I'm going to have to start making decisions as we go on what we want to pick up. Like picking up these guys, which are pretty important, which is uh, this will show you like directionally sometimes which way, what direction is what. But actually we can do that with the sun as well. Uh, so the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So by the sun, we can tell that this way is north. That way south, that way west, and this way east. So uh, we'll grab one of those just because they're easy to make more sunflowers with, but uh, not really that important. Uh, in other dimensions, you may need them to know which direction is which, but uh, we don't really need them in our case. So uh, yeah, our inventory is pretty much full. Or I would grab these daisies, but yeah, we're just going to continue in this direction for a little while and see if we can find anything else interesting. All right, we have successfully slept. Now I need to figure out, uh, I still have to make more decisions. We really need to find somewhere to settle down because my inventory is chock full of junk. And yeah, uh, I would like to get some of these flowers, but maybe we'll base somewhere near here so we can come back to grab these. But I did see something over here we need to check out which is a broken portal and uh sometimes these things can have decent stuff looks like there's a gold block here uh let's see what else we got a chest um anything useful in here we could probably use the obsidian for sure um and it would be good to have a flint and steel at some point er, the problem is is i am out of inventory space but we will do the best we can. And I don't think we can make a portal out of this yet. Um, we're probably still going to need a pickaxe. But maybe you could get lucky and be able to create a portal out of the boxes in here. Plus the obsidian it gives you. But uh, this one unfortunately we can't. But we know there's a gold block there too. So maybe we come back later. Uh, we're just kind of mapping our territory here. And uh, figuring out where we want to base and what we want to do okay, we finally got a decent vantage point here i think we're going to head out in that direction because i see a very important resource that i am going to want early game uh which is spruce saplings spruce saplings are super awesome because once you gather four spruce saplings you can put them in a square formation and they are going to create a giant spruce which pretty much eliminates your need for wood and you can just use spruce wood for just about anything and plus it's a great looking block so if you want to build with spruce wood i love building with spruce wood uh, i don't like the doors and trap doors and things as much but 
uh, I can live with them until I find other wood that I want to replace them with. And yeah, spruce is just an awesome, awesome, awesome wood. So uh, yeah, let's keep heading this way and see if we can find some spruce trees and get some spruce saplings because that's always something I look for early game to make sure that I don't have to worry about wood going forward. And yep, just as we say that, here is a spruce uh, four section and we're just going to grab some of these until we get four spruce saplings and we're not going to get any spruce saplings yet because our inventory is full but uh, we'll drop a less important item for these saplings once we get them ah uh, there's what we're looking for the spruce sapling so we'll probably just get rid of the flowers we can go find flowers later not a problem and yeah we're just going to grab as uh, of course at least four of these but as many of the spruce leaves as we can spruce saplings to make sure that we have enough to make a large spruce tree later on and totally solve our wood needs going forward just a really good way to make sure that you always have enough wood. And right now we have five. I might grab a couple more uh, just to be safe. But yeah, this is, again, this is a really big deal in early game to make sure that you have all the wood you need and you don't have to run around and deforest all your, your land. Just grow these giant. Whoa. Did you see that goat jump? That is like the highest jumping goat I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, distraction aside, uh, we're not getting super lucky, so five is enough for now. Okay, I think we might have found home. I like this like kind of rolling hills area here, and there's like taiga biome all around it, and lots of mountainous terrain all around, and lots of room just kind of to spread out and... Uh, build a kind of utopia here and we even have over here looks like a turkey mountain or something that's what i'm going to call it is turkey mountain with the little turkey head sticking up there and his little back with his feathers and things turkey mountain right there and yeah we will call this turkey valley i guess i don't know <laughs> maybe we'll come up with a better name in the future but i think this is where we're going to leave you guys for the first episode Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed and picked up some little tips and tricks along the way on how to survive and thrive. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.